Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Today we are doing Subnautica. I have not played this game in literally years, but it, even so, it is still one of my favorite top picks for a survival game because of its atmosphere and the creatures and everything that you see inside of that game is just so so unique like you cannot find this stuff in any other game like there might be some similarities from this game from subnautica to another game but honestly it's just it's just so uh, it, it's immersive in such a unique way and it's so amazing and honestly i just wanted to stream it again because i've been wanting to play it and obviously today was supposed to be the Risk of Rain 2 stream, but the reason why I decided to play Subnautica instead is because one, I was already planning on doing a Subnautica playthrough eventually, but also because I am extremely worn out from work, so I need to just kind of relax and chill with the game that I played before, one that's not going to be super competitive, and just something that I can kind of just relax and play casually. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into Subnautica and listen to the most fire soundtrack you will ever hear in your life. Subnautica soundtrack is the best. You cannot change my mind. There it is. The nice drop. I think Subnautica was actually the very first game. Oh, wait. That was, uh... <laughs> I was standing here being stupid for like two minutes. Okay, anyway. Subnautica is actually the thing that got me into dubstep. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Subnautica did it for me. Subnautica made me a dubstep listen to her because it... Th this the, the soundtrack for Subnautica is just so so good it's so good it's so great okay anyway without further ado we're gonna get into a game uh i'm obviously not gonna do something like super hard or super easy uh creative i'm not gonna do because it's i want to play an actual survival and uh hardcore is it's uh it, it's fun i've played it before but i have to be really attentive and i kind of want to just play a, a really chill nice playthrough of this game and if you guys want to do see more of this game, I will definitely be willing to do like a hardcore or creative. But for now, I'm just going with the basic survival. I'm waiting on chat. Chat has to click a button. <laughs> it says press any button. You guys aren't clicking a button. Come on. Arguably one of the best intro cutscenes to a game.
All right. So for those of you guys who do not know Subnautica, this is once again one of my favorite games. It is so unique. It's cool in every way, and just everything. It's just so pretty. Everything, like anywhere you go, it's just beautiful. It's like a sight to see. It's like going to a vacation spot. It's amazing. Also, I just need to confirm. Is the sound quality good on the game? Can everyone hear stuff? Because there's actually supposed to be background stuff that's happening in the game. And I just want to make sure you guys can actually hear it. Oh, I think looks like glitches on the stream, though. Let me see if I can change that. Maybe that will help. Okay, I think that might have helped just a little bit, but not entirely. I don't know why the stream is lagging so bad, but that's all right. Anyway. So, I'm going to give chat the option. Do we go up the ladder or do we go down? I think it's actually just the stream. As long as the audio quality is fine, that should be alright, because I think I can just edit this. Let's see if that one helps. <laughs> okay, and maybe not. <laughs> that just makes it glitch to the floor. Oh gosh, that's funny. Oh no, it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna, I'm just gonna save and restart this because <laughs> there's already a slight glitch and I don't want that happening. All right. So hopefully it will fix itself, but <laughs> that that water thing's not supposed to happen. Oh, my... I'm getting really bad connection, that's why. I just realized that. Yeah, I'm getting extremely bad frames. Okay, I'm going to hope and pray that my performance is good and stays good, but my, my, my quality is going to be really terrible because my rate is bad. Like, it is super bad. I don't know why. Okay. Is there a way to Well I just need to I just need to see something one second.
Hmm. Okay. I am going to continue playing the game and just hope and pray that things aren't super bad because I can already tell that my camera is lacking and that's a really bad sign. So let us hope and pray that nothing else goes wrong. Okay. So. All right, so as long as you guys can actually see the game, which is what I'm going for, let me know. Do you want me to go up or go down? I'm giving you guys the option. Still encountering errors. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going up, but I don't want you guys to see it until my stream fixes itself. Alright, uh... Give me one minute, and I'm going to see if I can fix this.
Okay, I'm gonna see if this fixed it. I don't know if it did, but I'm gonna hope and pray that it did. Um, anyway. Let us continue on with this. So, unfortunately, I kind of forced us to go up, and I didn't mean to, but that's all right. So, we're going to go up, even though I didn't necessarily mean to once again so let's continue The, the, the atmosphere of this game is just beautiful. I, I just love it. Especially if the Aurora just sitting there in all of its beauty. Alright, so... <clears throat> it was actually a trick question. Because, guess what? We have to go down anyway. So, <laughs> going up is just extra scenery. Okay, good, good. I'm just making sure. Also, I think that other reason why the audio or everything is so bad... Is because of the, um... Can you guys hear game audio, by the way? Because I don't think you guys can. But I will say, uh, it's probably the storm. Because there is a storm. Like, there's a storm inbound on my current location, so... Uh, why is that not working? Okay, I'm gonna see if relaunching this game will help. Because clearly it's not doing anything that I want it to. So I'm gonna see if it fixes the audio. Because uh, for some reason it's saying that you guys can't hear audio. So I'm gonna make sure that you guys can. Okay, that should have fixed it, I think. Is right there the audio good? Or do you guys need it higher or lower? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Okay, I was making sure because audio in this game is extremely is like extremely important. Like you absolutely need it for this game, just because of how atmospheric it is. It really helps to actually be able to hear everything. So, yeah, I will say chat is super delayed. Like, I think it's ridiculous and how delayed it is but anyway okay so i didn't save this part so i'm just gonna do this cutscene now just in case you guys wanted to see it again <laughs> but that's the sound that you should have heard heard all right so anyway let's go down because uh i know that's what that's one thing you guys wanted to do. Uh, no, it's not the right button. Alright, going down. Uh, 
Oh, the beautiful land of Subnautica. Also, I just realized we spawned, like, right next to a wreck. <laughs> that, like, never happens. Okay. Oh, the beautiful creatures of the land. Okay, I'm going to be very in-depth explaining this game as well. So, um, just like a little bit of a note. And uh, there actually is an item in this game, and it's called, I think it's, I, if I remember correctly, I think it's called the Scanner. And basically, the Scanner helps, like, give detailed information about each and every single thing in this game. So, therefore... Uh, I'm going to be reading mostly all of it, but just so you guys are aware, I'm not extremely good at explaining things. Or, uh, sorry, I'm not extremely good at uh, speaking, reading, that thing that, pe that humans do often. Um, so, <laughs> just letting you guys know. Anyway, so basically, what I just did was I created food. So I created a cooked fish, two cooked fish, to get my uh, my my stuff up. I also need the first aid kit because I want full health, obviously. And then I just basically got two uh, metal salvage, which can be turned into titanium, and and titanium can make a lot of different things. It's actually the, I think the main resources. It's the main resource in this entire game. And there's a lot of, this is like basically the crafting menu. This is like how I basically come and I say, oh, I need to craft better fins. This I need two silicone rubber. Like, like, you know, that type of thing. And I really love this like crafting mechanic because usually when you like get into like a survival game and it has crafting, it's usually just a menu and you can click something. This has an like interactive lasers that you can like see like kind of like generating the object and it's... Oh, it's so cool. I, I just love it. It's great. Okay, so we need to make a scanner. So we need a battery. So to make a battery, we need acid, mushrooms, and copper. So let us go find those materials. Come here. I want to pet you. Alright, uh, anyway. So we're going to get some acid mushrooms. And some copper if I can find it. There should be some copper around here somewhere. There's some quartz in here. Oh, oh, he's right there. <laughs> Too unlikely but plausible, yes. Very good way to put it. I am dead but not dead yet. Oh, that was uh, unfortunate. Okay, that's fortunate. <laughs> I need silver. I really like our spawn location. Like, the location that we spawned at is extremely nice. I have never had a better spawn location in Subnautica. Not gonna lie. <laughs> this is perfect for a stream. Alright, let's go back into our pod here. You're fine. Just cough it up a bit. I don't know. Like, just calm down. <laughs> You're fine. All right, uh, so we want to get this, because obviously we need the scanner. Okay. All right, so the scanner is nice because it can scan basically anything and it will give you, once again, detailed information. So for example, I can self-scan. It's just a nice feature. Okay, so we're going to throw this over there because we don't need it. I already got two silver, which is extremely nice. Silver is usually very hard to come by early game. Okay. Uh, what else do I need to make? I need a habitat builder for sure. Which I can make this right now. Then I need a computer chip. 
Yeah, okay. So I, just, I, I need to get um, materials first. So I'm going to go around and just kind of grab things. But I will scan things because scanning things is extremely important, especially for reading. Come on, scan you. There we go. Nope. Come here. Blader fish. Uh, you. I don't know why you're in the water. You're supposed to be a sky ray, not a water ray. And then I will obviously read all this stuff. Except for, like, uh, this ton of stuff, because it's just, uh, fragments of materials that I need to survive later on. Get some air. There's a boomerang fish. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Skinning this game is so janky at times. Okay. There's nothing in there. That's disappointing. There's a thermal vent. Okay. Just literally the best spawn location ever, I guess. Grab trap. Nice. Although I've never used a grab trap. I might use it on stream just to show you guys what it does. Because it's kind of cool, but... I don't use them often. There's, ooh, what's up here? Okay. I don't see many other things. Also, at nighttime, this is how pretty it is. I know, like my frames are kind of getting more garbage right now, but uh, underwater. Is pretty. <laughs> it's it, it's real pretty. Oh, I'm getting a bad connection again. Why? Stop giving me bad connection. Give me good connection, please. That's all I want. <laughs> good connection. Oh, I didn't even grab the thing I needed to get. <laughs> Yeah, the second I go underwater, my connection becomes, like, super bad. That's not even fix. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to try something really quick, and I just hope and pray it fixes things. Or maybe it'll fix itself. Nope, okay. I'm going to go to options, and I'm going to go to the lowest, set to the lowest uh, setting. I'm going to save, and I'm gonna quit, and I'm gonna see if that fixes things. It will make things much less, like, it will basically make things look worse, but it will hopefully be better for stream. Because I don't know why this is being so bad to me, but it is. So hopefully this fixes everything. <laughs> All my problems. Yeah, everything's just low, lower res textures now, which is kind of sad, but... I mean, I, it, it, as long as it helps for stream, I'm fine with it. Okay. It seems like Twitch is liking me doing this, so I'm going to do this. If you guys want me to turn it up to medium graphics and see if that helps, I will definitely... I'm definitely willing to do so, because I want to give you guys the best quality experience. So, uh, I need to go get these glowing things.
Okay. Yeah, if you guys say it looks good for now, then I won't I won't mess with it. Because I don't want to break it again. Lubricant gut, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to make a few of these because we need to make a few things. So the first thing we need to make is a knife. That's a little bit of lore for you guys. <laughs> okay, uh... This is the other thing we need to make. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment-appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay, I think this is all we need for right now, so I'm just gonna... I should probably turn those into something other than just that in my inventory. Can I exit the thingy? Thank you. I'm gonna sneeze and I want to. Ugh. Okay. So we're going to switch everything over there that we don't need in our inventory at the current moment, which is all that. Uh, and then let us just kind of explore and go around the place because we have a whole new world to be shown to people who haven't seen the beautiful game known as Subnautica. Alright, uh, I will scan this though because scanning everything is key. Because it gives you a lot of useful information that you wouldn't normally know about. I'm also really happy that there is a thermal vent here. I'm just gonna steal that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need one more part. Wait, is this already a place I can go into? Okay, no, I was about to say, like, <laughs> that would be a little overpowered. But, okay. Yeah. Uh, this music is so good. I love this music. It's just always so nice. Okay. Uh, that is not something. Unfortunate, but okay. I want to see ones in the chat if you like the music. If you say two, you're getting banned, by the way. <laughs> no. Alright, so... We can now make a sea glide, which is the thing I wanted to get. So for a sea glide, we need uh, copper wire and a few other things, which we basically have all the material for. I just need to, oh, I used up all my clusters by accident. Okay, I can go get those, that's fine. It's easy. We also need, oh wait, we have plenty of copper, Never mind. we're fine. Uh, I need these, I think I only need two. Okay, I actually do need more copper. I lied. Uh, so I want this. So I need one more copper, and I need this stuff over here. So let's go collect this stuff. I'm going to collect, like, two of these, because I think I do need some mesh 
but I mainly want this. Oh, please give me copper. Yes. Instant copper. Alright, and let us swim back to the life pod. So we want to make lubricant. Battery, and then we're going to make a sea glide. <clears throat> because we got the fragments for it, and now we can move faster underwater. Uh, that's used for fiber mesh. Do I need anything else for fiber mesh? I don't think so. Alright, anyway. We're going to put this stuff away. I'm going to assign this to one. That can stay on two. This needs to be on three. That needs to be on four. Uh, I do want to repair this, though. So I will get these items. What happened to my cave sulfur? The game ate it. <laughs> I needed that cave sulfur. Rue. Okay, I have to go find more cave sulfur, I guess. That's alright. Because we have a sea glide now. That's not the way I wanted to go. Uh, in here? I don't think so. Considering that there's nothing in here that I need. Okay. Uh, we'll just have to keep looking, I guess. Okay. You're exactly what I need. Perfect. Then I'll scan this. Oh, I lost silver as well. Ooh. Oh, okay. I know what happened. Well, actually, no. I didn't, I didn't lose my silver. Never mind. I, I actually made a wiring kit, which requires two silver. So we're good on that front. I already made one of these, and I just realized I already did. I'm stupid. I was literally, like, thinking of that in my mind. Where did my cave sulfur go? I wonder where. I wonder where it went. I'm, I'm stupid. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so dumb. It hurts. <laughs> okay, give me a peeper. Give me a peeper. Uh, is there anything else around here? You. That's what I want. I need more of you. There we go. Perfect. Wait, I like that you watch it repair. Yeah, it's, it's actually really cool how you actually watch the thing that you're trying to repair get repaired. This game is very interactive in that way, in that sense. That's also another thing I like. Okay, so... Okay. There's also a fun little glitch in this game that I'll show you guys in a minute. I do still want to get rid of all these notification things just because... Oh, wait. 
I need more silver. Because I just realized that that's like something I need, like desperately. Okay. All these are messages. Yeah, also, a thing that happens is that you can like, replay all the messages. Like, you can go back to the very first message that was ever played, and it will still be there. So, like, it, for example, if you wanted to hear it again, you can. <laughs> it's it's great. All right, so we're going to actually read a few things. So, this is an environment scan. So, uh, this is basically the planet. So, this is planet 4546B, and uh, the category is uh, three ocean planets, oxygen and nitrogen atmosphere, uh, extensive biodiversity, uh, safety warnings may support Leviathan class predators, water uh, contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria, planet is beyond uh, Federation space, uh, so basically it's kind of uh, rescue unlikely because, you know, it's hard to get to, uh, and then it is not recommended to explore the environment without hazardous material suits and uh, extensive support. So basically, we're just here because our ship crashed, so we have no choice. All right, so limestone outcrops. These unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion. Erosion? My bad. Uh, but the me mechanisms remain unknown. So yeah, basically this is just basically talking about how this stuff gives either titanium or copper sources. Uh, and then this is basically just a uh, wreck, like shattered wreck. So basically this confirms that this is wreckage from the aurora. Our layers of material have oxidized, uh, suggested it has been heated to over 1200 degrees Celsius. This pattern is consistent with hull uh, yeah, disintegration during atmospheric entry, salvage of impact Porsche, por portions of Aurora vessel in is prohibited as at legal, moral, and technical legals. However, scrap such as these may be reclaimed for their titanium content at any Altera fabricator. All right. Let's go on to a few of the coral stuff. So this is a giant coral tube. That's like that giant tube thing that we saw underwater. So that, that's basically what this is. Uh, the variety of coral foundations on 4546B 4, appear to be different solutions to, so, uh, to the same problem of maximizing water and nutrient flow throughout the colony. These particular variants funnel water through the tube, filtering nutrients as they pass. Their size suggests they have been highly successful, which is interesting, which means that this planet is thriving. <clears throat> Alright, so let's check out the rabbit ray. So as you notice, with a lot of creatures, they'll actually have this neat little picture thing. And it will give information about the creature, like, down here. But basically, all the information that you would see down here is supposed to be on this picture. It's just, you know, you can't really read the picture too well. And you'll also notice a threat level. Because some enemies will have a higher threat level than others. So, for example, this guy is completely harmless. He will not even attack you, even if you stabbed him with a knife. He would just run away. So, this kind of just gives you, like, their general, like information about like how it kind of lives how it uh, reacts to things etc all right uh, there's a lot of scientific words in this so I'm probably not gonna read it out loud except for like the bottom portions because up top uh, I'm probably gonna fail but I'll probably just read it anyway just for a comedic effect so a herbious aquatic life form of rabbit rays appear to live in senior or solitary li lives. Yeah. Senior. Senior. Okay, I, I, I can't. 
scenery. Scenery. I I don't I I don't know. <laughs> I can't read very well, so forgive me. Anyway, ears twin orange appendages mounted on the head sees vibration and water or sense vibration and water my bad uh undueling wings yes basically uh our system just told us that the aurora is probably going to explode <laughs> anyway Remarkably similar methods of transportation to uh, th uh, that of rays Earth, or uh, sorry, Earth rays. Zero geological uh, resemblance detected suggested these two species in I um, indentifyingly developed similar solutions to their environment circumstances. Uh, and then, you know, basically it's just harmless as well as evidence indicates it's large side facing eyes are relatively recent amputations. It is likely there are related race species and other environmental biomes on the planet, which basically hints at other rays. All right. So this is the sky ray. You can kind of see the pattern here. Okay, anyway, the sky ray is a bird -like head, has a bird-like head and feathered wings which enable it to fly. Sky rays are commonly found circling uh, floating structures and rarely vent far from the sea. Or rarely venture far out to the sea. They will perch on dry land but are prone to flee on approach. As you can see, also the threat level is very low. Um... Although its wings is given the resemblance in Scylla... Scyllahot? However you say that word. Uh, to the water biome, rays on 4546b. Analysis shows no greater generic overlap with these species than the planetary average. In fact, the sky rays appear to have split off the evolutionary tree much easier than most. Diet... Uh, largely based seeds, yeah, large, largely seed based. My bad. Uh, sky rays have not been observed diving for food, which implies they really they rely on land based plants for their survival, which hints at actual islands in this game. All right, so bladderfish. This unusual uh, herbivore appears to be mostly defenseless and bears little resemblance to other life forms around it. The bladder fish is able to filter air and seawater into its body, captivity, uh, ca captivity through a unique membrane which surrounds its spine like a bladder. It's also, it's, sorry, it allows it to remove and consume organic particles caught in its way and adjust its bio buoyancy. Sorry, buoyancy. I always said bio density. I was like, that's not bio density. Okay. Open end. Open ended vesicular tubing can be angled and contracted to pump out air and achieve low velocity guided propulsion. So that's why they can swim so fast. I have tried to catch these things so often sometimes, and for some reason, they just zoom. Like, they're just gone. You can't catch up to them. It's kind of funny. Anyway. Largely obviously to... Uh, sorry. Largely obvious to threats and practically invulnerable... Or, yeah, Im immobile at night. It's uh, identified defense mechanism is... Wait, sorry. I, I, I didn't know I can scroll down. Its identity defense mechanism is that it's composed mostly entirely of water, air, and cartilage. Analysis edible. Oxygen may be revived from the bladder fish, or retrieved from the bladder fish, my bad, and added to tanks on consumption. Rain brains have applicants as neutral water filter, which is cool. So the boomerang fish. <clears throat> A herbivore uh, uh, encountered in large member numbers. 
A herbivore encountered in large numbers found to frequent shadow uh, to frequent shallow waters and move in schools. Suggested adaptation for gliding coral or for grinding corals. Others uh, herbivores are unable to digest. Twin fins. Usually, at species two uh, species two fins are uh, cardio cartilaginous extension of its skeleton. These are less prone to damage and provide um, superior propulsion, but they are harder to uh, grow back. Uh, yeah, they're harder to grow back. Uh, the light blue tips are in fact the ends of the digestive tract, which the illuminescence of the corals it consumes is most focused. Most active during daylight hours and prone to flee on approach, the boomerang, f the boomerang can uh, more easily be observed at night when its illuminescence gives it away and it seeks of shelter of the seabed. All right, this is the iconic fish that everyone recognizes inside of Subnautica, a peeper, a fast prey which uh, encounters encountered in shallow waters and rich and in rich protein Ca uh, capable of decentering capable of decentering I don't know if I'm saying that word right but it sounds like I'm saying it right capable of decentering colors but not in shallow waters but it is a very it, it, but it has, it, but it's in, but in a variety of light com, uh, conditions. It is also able to close, close its eyelids, thus uh, preventing light from it reflecting off of its lenses and re, uh, rendering the paper almost invisible at night time. To sorry, rendering it almost invisible to nighttime predators. I cannot speak. But I promise I can read. <laughs> Somewhat. Alright, powerful fins. The species has evolved powerful fins which enable rapid acceleration in uh, still waters and ability to leap meters into the air to provide, uh, to avoid pursuit, pursuiters, pursuers. My brain needs to function properly. <laughs> Likely used to breed down coral, uh, likely used to break down corals and tough vegetation. An unusual large nasal cavity serves no obvious purpose and appears to be significantly evolved to detect a single uh, specific enzyme. Nothing encountered on the planet so far produces a matching odor. The tubes attached to the peeper's torso are connected directly to its stomach and gills and appear to be designed to expel its contents on demand. Uh, propose purpose unclear. While the peeper is well adapted to survival in shallow waters, a number of its features serve no describable purpose it would be uh, appear to be just as well suited to survive in deeper waters and is somewhat more intelligent than usual small herbivores it is edible and it's actually the highest protein content fish in the game i'm i think don't quote me on it though all right crepe vine a uh sorry yeah a kelp species can Consider considerated con concentrated. Sorry, a uh, kelp species concentrated in large forest and shallow sandy waters. Loose roots anchored the plants to the seafloor from where it glows uh, steadily towards the surface in pursuit of sunlight. The stem is uh vibrous and rich in iron making it both a viable base metal for fabrication of textiles yeah as well as basic food uh stuff so basically it's just kind of nice anyway 
create vine seeds. Nature's create vine seed plants ha uh, that have survived the pre the pre production production of small herbivores produce these bioluminescent seed clusters, which may uh, knock loose by uh, certain or consumed and later composed by predators. The embryo is surrounded by a thick oil and silicone layer, which will disperse into the ground as the inner layer, uh, sorry, as the outer skin, uh, deteriorated, deteriorated, I think so. This may provide a seedling with the nutrients it needs to survive the low light uh, accommodations on the seed bed. And then it basically just, you know, gives you a little bit of additional information. Anyway, silver plants. These plants appear to serve as nests for, explode, so for explosive organisms which guard them. So basically, this game has its own suicide bombers, which is extremely funny and interesting. Anyway, the outer petals are undamaged by the presence of the inhabiting creature, suggested a complex uh, co-development. The plant has evolved to feed in, on nutrients and materials deposited within by the fish. Sulfur, sulfuric deposits on the inner levels provide an insight into the mechanism by which the creature explodes. Uh, so far has applications in constructing. Okay, yeah. So, basically, that is all the information that we've gathered so far. And as you can see, there's a lot of reading in this game. And, and that's what's, like, amazing about this game is that it has a ton of lore. Like, the amount of lore in this game is pretty insane. I do want that bladderfish. I, I want the bladderfish. I need food. And water. No, come here. Uh, and food. Preferably papers. A boomerang fish works. Peeper. Nom. Uh, peeper. What? He, like, disappeared from my screen for a minute. Okay. I got some salt as well to make a better meal. So let us go craft some food really quick before we go on extreme exploration. Uh, yeah, cured food. I want to make a cured peeper. Food also can spoil in this game, so I will be very cautious not to spoil food. Because spoiling food is uh, wasteful and sad. Yeah, okay. So, drink this, and then we want to eat this peeper first. And we'll eat this one as well. Okay. Alright, let's play the radio, because the radio gives really useful information and actually starts the storyline. So let us hit it. Okay, so basically that just started the story. Or I guess you'd say the relative story. Uh, so that is fun. Okay, so now I'm going to continue looking for scrap parts. Also, I I am going to do one thing just because I want to see if this will uh, help at least somewhat. So I'm going to see if the game will allow me medium graphics. Just because I want things to load just a little bit better. So let's try. And if it doesn't work, then I can just relaunch the game. That's the wrong...
Because if it allows me medium graphics, then it will e at least give me a bit better loading. Because the problem with having low graphics is that things don't load very easy. Or at least they don't load, like, load super far away. I saw that. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we just got this. Uh, another radio signal just came in. That's cool. Alright, but uh, I'm going to make sure that I can actually play with medium. Which it looks like I can. It looks like my rate stays fine. It looks like everything stays relatively good. I think the frame rate drops slightly. But it's better graphics in the loading times for everything is way better. So it's it's uh, worth it. All right, so basically, oh wait, I thought that was towards the Aurora. Okay, that's away from the Aurora. Okay, so we're going to go to that because uh, finding life pods or other life pods is extremely useful in this game. It will give you upgrades. It will give you uh, basically everything you'll ever need. It will give you upgrades. It will give you uh, lore. It will also uh, give you like tragic messages sometimes. What's this? What need that? Mova vehicle bay fragment one of three. Don't mind if I do. I probably should have made a better oxygen tank. Now I think about it. Ooh, a laser cutter fragment. Actually, laser cutters are super hard to find for me anyway. I don't know why, but finding laser cutter fragments is usually a pain. Like, an actual pain, and it's ridiculous on why it is. Okay, I need to go to the surface. Interesting. Yeah, so that's also one other thing that you have to kind of be, like, aware of, is that you can't just be as low as you want. Like, the further down you get, the harder it is to adjust to the uh, pressure. So let's get this stuff. Ooh, a scanner room. I didn't expect to find this one so early. Oh, we only needed one? Oh, okay, no, no. I think I need, I still I think I still gonna need three. Unless if it just gave it to me, because if it just gave me to it, gave it to me, that's kind of overpowered. Just after finding one singular fragment. So let's continue looking for this through this wreck. I do need a laser cutter for that door. I know that for sure. So if I get a laser cutter, I'm gonna need to come back here. Uh, anything else around here? Does not look like it. Can't open that door. Oh, wait. Sea moth? We have now gotten a sea moth, but we need uh, one more. We need to basically get the mobile vehicle bay for that to work. 30 seconds of oxygen. I'm getting greedy. Yeah, I really should have made the higher capacity oxygen tank before I went over here. Not gonna lie. Hello, Void Reaver. Or not Void Reaver. Uh, this is a reef. This is a reef back. What am I saying? Oh, they do damage to you. Wait, what am I dying to? Oh, I'm dying to that. <laughs> I'm dumb. I haven't played this game in a really long time, so please forgive me if I just don't know what's going on. <laughs> I thought I was, like, for a minute there, I thought I was dying from, like, oxygen loss, and the game just, like, glitched on me and didn't replenish my air. 
And I was like, game, please. And then I was like, oh wait, no, it's something completely different. Is that a vending machine? It is a vending machine. We got free food. Oh yeah. Fire reactor. Oh wait, we are at this. Okay. Uh, ooh. this though. Yes, laser cutter. I, I I know that thirty seconds, but laser cutter, <laughs> important. I'll make it. It seems far, but I'll make it. I have barely even had my sea glide, and it's already at forty-five percent. I need to be very cautious with it. Oh, I can. Okay, that's scannable. I don't need that though. Okay. But over here, is there anything good over here? There's not. Yeah. I don't see anything of use. So let's continue. So that's the life pod right there. We'll go over there in just a minute, but I do want to check this. Laser cutter perfect. Yes. I have never found laser cutter fragments as often. Like, I'm going to be completely serious when I say this. When I play this game, laser cutter is usually one of the last things I'm able to find. And it's kind of insane. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's usually, like, one of, like, the last things that I find. Like, obviously this game's pretty huge, but, like, for, like, starting, like, the start of the game, it's one of the last things that I find, and it's so useful. Like, you need it for literally everything all right so this is the life pod three so let's play this crew log So basically, he perished, <laughs> is the short version of it. But yeah, uh, there's a lot, like, in this game, it's kind of just interesting on how everything just kind of works out. You, you guys will see. It's kind of, it, it, it's a real fun experience, especially if you haven't ever had it before, or seen it before, I should say. It's not a laser cutter. I don't know why you keep saying that. I already know that. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for notifying me anyway that I'm going to die if I go past 100 meters. <laughs> or die faster, I should say. Okay. Alright, so this is a bigger shipwreck. I'm going to need to come back here when I get a laser cutter. Because this opens up so many possibilities for uh, new things. That's quartz. I thought that was a PDA for me. I was like, really? There's a PDA here? Uh, ooh. A propulsion cannon fragment. I did not expect to see that around here. Anything else around here? Should probably go up to the surface before I die. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to come back here, for sure. Let's go back to the life pod.
Just swim all the way back there. And then let's see what we can make. Because we do have a lot of stuff that we need to make. Okay, relatively back home, though, is there anything around here that I can grab? What's my inventory space looking like? Okay, I have, like, basically nothing in my inventory. Ooh, a counter. Also, a beacon fragment. Very nice. Grab trap. This whole place is just so nice looking. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Let's go up here. So now we can make plasteel. I didn't see lithium though. Huh. All right, I'm not gonna complain, I guess. Okay, I'm going to also make a few beacons when I can, just because beacons are extremely useful. This. Receiving B requirements for dispatch to Carl ASX. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. So let me just say that they're cheating. They had a emergency sea glide. That is some. Bull crap. I had to make this thing and they get a free pass. No, I'm kidding, but seriously. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't scan that much rooms. Copper, nice. I do need table coral. I can also scan it. Oh, there's multiple sand. I didn't know that Table Coral gave this much up. Just one. Emergency. The quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state. T minus. Ten, right. nine, Just for anyone who hasn't seen this. Go boom. <laughs> for my convenience. But I am for my survival. For my convenience. <laughs> okay. Although I will say, radiation suit is like super easy to make. <laughs> All right, let me make one beacon. Just because beacons are really useful in this game, to mark locations that you need to come back to at a later point in time. All right, uh, radiation soup. That was. I only have. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna make a locker. That done exploded. <laughs> Yes, it did. <clears throat> uh, five. Let's 
throw a bunch of this stuff in there just because I don't need it at the moment. And then I need bladder fish because I need more water. Give me your water. I didn't need to grab that paper. What? That bladder fish disappeared. Oh, there it is. Let's go over here and make water because water is needed. Put that in there. I didn't mean to use that. <laughs> I did not mean to use that. Okay. Uh, and then let's release the paper. Be free. Alright. Um, I'm going to scroll through this just for a minute. Just because I want to get rid of all the extra stuff. I do need to also get this stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be a wolf. It's, it's going to be an adventure. But that's a good thing. It just means more content for you guys and more pain for me. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to find a good cave. Preferably one that has uh, the sandstone deposits. Just because sandstone is a very badly needed essential material. Sandstone deposit, sorry. Uh, not the sandstone itself. Oh, I can actually... It's a Gary fish. Okay. We'll do a whole another reading session in a little while. Oh, I completely forgot. The thing I needed to make this entire time. Where is it? this. We have that, actually. And I kind of need to make it, like, ASAP, so I'm just gonna go back and make it. I just need to make sure I have enough quartz. I don't think I do have enough quartz, so I'm just gonna search the area for some, because quartz makes glass. Easily evaded. Okay, I need to access this, because it has quartz in it. Okay, we do have enough quartz, cool. Uh, what else do I need? We don't have silver. No. Silver, why? Okay, we can at least make the last right now, though. That stuff, uh, so we need just silver for that, because we already had the tank, we're wearing it right now, and we can just unequip it, and then make the thing that we need. So we just need to find a silver deposit somewhere, which a silver deposit will be sandstone, I believe. A sandstone outcrop or deposit. Which I think they're more prominent in this biome, so I will search this one and hope for a cave. Or just have one chilling on one of these. Giant reflex. Go away, sand shark. Okay, gold is useful, but it's not what I wanted. Not at all what I wanted. <clears throat> uh, 
I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna search this just because I feel like it's gonna give me the best chance of the items I need. Copper. That's lead. That's all I need. Oh, it's this area. I will definitely explore this area when I have my Seamoth. I just need a better oxygen tank. Which I cannot get, apparently, because I'm getting super bad luck with everything. I don't think it's actually sandstone outcrops when I think about it. To get silver. I could be wrong. But I don't think it is. Let me scan it, and then I'll read up on it. And then I'll be able to see for sure. I also just realized that my Sea Glide is super low power, so I'm going to need to recharge it sooner or make another battery, so that way I don't just die down here. Ow. Okay, so you can get silver from from these. That's nice to know, because I just got silver. We also got lead, which is lead was really badly needed. Sand shark, no. I'm not food. Just more silver. Gold. Copper. All useful. Get all the way up. Alright, and then I also want to grab something else around here. I want to grab the table core from my thing. That's what I want to grab. Because I need to make more batteries. And I think it requires table core, but I could be wrong. Alright, let's unequip this. And let's create the high capacity. So now we have a lot more oxygen, as you can see. Oh, a rebreather. I actually have the materials for that. Rebreathers are super nice because it will uh, give you more oxygen, which makes it so you can stay underwater longer. So I'm just going to make that right away. Uh, and then I need a radiation suit, which requires more fiber mesh, which is easy to get. So I will ignore that for the time being. Uh, computer chip. Copper wire. Computer chip. Advanced wiring kit. That's nice. Uh, I need to make an advanced wiring kit. And I only have one more. One silver. No. Silver. Don't do this to me. My hopes and dreams are shattered because of you. Okay. I'm going to put back away this stuff. And I need a lot more acid shrooms. Like a lot, a lot more. Battery. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean I need another battery <laughs> to make a battery? Okay. So, the only thing we need to know is the builder habitat. This would also be nice. But that's going to require a lot more silver. Like a lot more silver. Okay. Alright, so we just need to go on a hunt for basically just I uh, just stuff. And I'll make another locker just in case. Okay, so now that we have a rain breather as well as... So now that we have a rain breather as well as a... Uh, extra battery for our sea glide we might as well explore over this way 
and go deeper into a cave if possible. But I'm not going to go into that super deep cave yet because that one's definitely going to require a Seamoth or a vehicle of some kind. And I don't want to go down there and just die. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do a not die run. <laughs> Come here. I want to scan you. Spade fish. Okay, we'll read that later. I do want to scan the biter, though. All right, while Sand Shark is here, let's just scan it. He's wiggling. He's a wiggler. Okay. Um. I don't think there's anything over there. This is just more Seamoth and Bioreactor Fragments. What's in this one? Laser Cutter. Okay, these are Lithium Deposits. That's really nice. There's a ton of them, too. I'll just need something to actually collect them with. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but I will definitely need that eventually. This is a lead deposit. All right next to each other. Very nice. Let me go up to the surface. We're pretty far away from our sea, or not our sea moth, our uh, pod, so we'll kind of just travel our way back. In the meantime, I will scan you. Quartz deposit. Ooh, a shale outcrop. Interesting. I did not think that shale outcrops could be around here. Alrighty. Ooh, that's a great drag. Right here. I'm not gonna pick it up because it takes a lot of inventory space, but you can like basically like make your own hatchery and everything. And it's just really cool. Okay, I'm gonna scan a stalker. Oh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. Yes, I need that so bad. Okay, I need one more fragment of mobile vehicle bay, and then I am hard rushing the uh, Seamoth. Because getting a vehicle is so useful in this game. Alright. So, really quick, I will scan these guys as well. Okay, this is a somewhat deeper cave. But it looks like this is meant to be traversed through sea glide, so I will use my sea glide to go through it. Or Or you know, it's just not gonna have like anything good. Like at all. <laughs> okay, well it has sandstone outcrops, so I guess I'll just collect them. Because it gives me a chance at silver and copper, which I've been kind of neglecting to grab, not gonna lie. Gold. This, nice copper. Please be a mobile vehicle. Oh, that's a mobile vehicle bay right there. Nice. Also, I like how this guy's just stuck in here. No, he ran away. Oh, I was gonna say how cool it was that he was stuck and then he moved to, to spite me. 
depression. Ooh. Wait, this biome's this close? Okay, I guess I'll just scan you then. Because why not? I didn't know that this biome was that close yet, but I'll take it. Works for me. Okay, I need to get back to my life pod now. I've been exploring for a little bit too long. Well, actually, no, I need to find silver still. That's right. I need I need to find silver so I can't return until I find silver. Can I? Okay, I haven't been to life pod 3, that's right. But yeah, I will say I do like how they get rid of the markers on the different uh life pods when you've already found them so like when you find them they will disappear from your map but you can still like re-enable them just in case you want to know wait you're right here ow bad bone shark let me scan you be nice i did not know that they were in this area this is i this map is smaller than i remember it being <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah. It's nice. Ow. Those stupid things that hurt me. Silver. Exactly what I need. Ooh. Another shipwreck. I'm finding all of them. <laughs> Uh, is there anything useful nearby, though? That's the real question. We already have bioreactor. We already have that. Wait, no, we don't have that. A bar table. Yes. Exactly what I need. What every house needs. Or base. House. Whatever. A thingy. I don't want lead. I want silver. <laughs> I need silver. Desperately need silver. What's this? Scanner room? Do I even have that? Okay, I don't. I don't have a scanner room. I thought I did, so I was not collecting it, but I will know to collect it now. So if I see, scan if I see one more scanner room fragment, I'm going to collect it, because I need it. I don't know even by drinks, but I mean, if you're talking about my drink, then uh, I just had some water. But <laughs> otherwise, I don't know exactly what you're referring to. Who is this? Oh, that's another laser cutter. Okay, so. I think this one also requires a laser cutter, right? Right? Oh no, I can just go into it. Nice. Yo. Early game battery charger? Oh. Bar to Okay. I'm dumb. I I am not in the loop of my brain right now. PA. Floodlight. Oh no, I needed that PDA. No, where is that PDA at? I'm dumb. I didn't look at the PDA. I think this was the PDA, but I could be wrong. Water. Oh, nice. Ultra, ultra red flims, yes. That's nice. Okay, get, get me out of here. I need air. 
oxygen. I needs it. Oh, we're like right behind the Aurora. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not going to explain why I don't like that. Because I want you guys to uh, kind of just go through this blindly, even though I've already played this game. I just want you guys to experience it relatively blindly. So I'm just not going to say why I don't like being behind the Aurora, but you'll find out eventually. We'll all have a fun time. Let's go to the vent system. To the secret room. Modification station. That's nice. That's very nice that we found a fragment so early. Oh, you can actually just place to cut the door. Two? In one place? Okay. All three laser cutter fragments were here too. That's kind of overpowered. Okay. Uh, I would have liked a third modification station uh, fragment, but I'm not going to be greedy. I actually got a lot of great stuff in that wreck. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, is that a scanner? That is. Okay. We got a scanner room as well. Laser cutter. I hate you. I'm gonna scan you though. Uh, just gonna get a few more random outcrops. Kind of just zoom around on the floor, look for any small thing around. Okay, let's go play this. All right, so we have quite a few places that we can explore and go to as well, which is nice. Uh, let us create a power cell. Do I wait? Do I need to create a power cell? Yeah, I do need. Okay, I do need a power cell. I'm just making sure, because my brain got all wonky right there. All right, so we need a titanium ingot. So, do I even have enough titanium? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm one titanium off. That hurts. That hurts physically. That physically hurts. I'm missing one. Okay, uh, what else do we need? Lubricant, okay. Lubricant is made with clusters. Good thing that I have a plentiful amount of titanium around. And I also will be making a base because I want a base as soon as possible. How many creep vines can I grab? I can grab a few. Like, probably three, maybe four if I'm lucky. Okay, yeah. Four is the magic number. Uh, we need lubricant, and then we need to make silicone. Wait, 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 we have plenty of silk code, never mind. I need to make more lubricant. And then I need a... I need a ingot. Okay, 
so wait, I need to make the and make this. This is Avery Quinn, a trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charters gonna have to be blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Yeah, so basically a ship tries to save us or something. <laughs> You'll see what happens. Uh let's I'd rather have to actually bind it. Okay, so let's deploy it. All right. So to make a sea glide, we will need one titanium ingot, one power cell, two glass lubricant, and lead. Which basically we have all those materials already. So, without further ado, I will grab a few more metal scrap just lying around like so I left a ton around here just because I knew I was going to need it later aka now is later okay so we have the ingot uh, we have lubricant we have lead we have that a power cell I think we need more we're definitely going to need some more copper. So let's get copper. Perfect. Instant copper. Do I have any copper on me? Okay, I only have one copper, so I need to get a lot of copper. That's titanium. I want copper. Another message? Jeez. I'm getting a lot of radios. I'm getting spammed with radios. Okay, that's a mobile vehicle bay. We don't need that. Outcrop. Uh, any more outcrops around here? Please. If the game loves me, it will give me an outcrop. The game hates me, apparently. The game loves me. Just kidding, it hates me because it gave me titanium. It wants to watch me suffer. Okay, there we go. Copper. More copper. Another mobile vehicle bay. Over here is a really nice area for exploration for items. That's another mobile. Okay, well, I'm finding a lot of mobile vehicle base. I know I'm technically tempting fate here, but I kind of do need to get these outcrops. I'm only 70 meters down, actually, and I have a rebreather, so I should be fine. Oh, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine. Oh no. I did not realize I was that low. I can make it. I made it. <laughs> okay. Back to safety. I still want to explore the thermal vent, but I can't yet because reasons. Okay, let's play this. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> So, we needed a titanium ingot. I need more acid mushrooms, don't I? I need more acid mushroom. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so what else do I need? What else do I need? Uh, lubricant glass. Lead lubricant. Need to get a few more pieces of glass. Or sorry, I need to get one more uh, quartz. Right? Yeah, one more glass and then whatever it takes to make a power cell, which I think I have all the items for. Besides batteries, right? Yeah, okay. So I just need to find... So I, I got enough for batteries for sure because I just need to get some acid mushrooms, right? Okay, acid mushrooms and then I need one more quartz. Which will be around. Usually in caves. Preferably caves that I haven't already looted. <laughs> Sometimes they do spawn on the floor beds of this area. Maybe I'll get lucky. Brain coral. I am not getting lucky. I cannot find any corpse. I am sad. Because I need quartz. But I cannot find them. For some reason. Lead. That's a weird texture. <laughs> okay, uh... Come on, quartz, please. There we go. Quartz. Got him. Alright. Back to over here. I will say, the beginning of this game is very slow, but it does get a lot more interesting and fun as you go along, especially when you like investigate things and areas, kind of just really get in depth with the game. So, yeah. Let's make glass. I think that's all the materials I need, right? Oh yeah, I need to make a power cell. Duh. Power cell. Alright. Let us make a Seamoth. This is our sea moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. This little badass piece of equipment is amazing because it will allow me to go to lower depths without losing oxygen very fast anyway. And then we can also explore more areas easier uh, with that piece of equipment. And it makes it extremely nice to find geological uh, equipment and data. So, uh, we are going to actually go over to a general area where I think would be a good spot for a base. If I remember exactly where it is, I don't think I do, but I will see if I remember. <laughs> I will see if I can. So, um, let's go in that general direction with some titanium. And some quartz, because that's the general materials that you need to make a base. Uh, let's take all the titanium out. Throw everything that's in there that's not titanium. I'll grab a piece of copper or two just in case I need it. Uh, and then let's go grab some quartz on our way, but let's get our sea moth. Okay, so I need to go this way, I believe.
Because the basic area that I want to be in is I want to go to that one area that I found the battery charger. So over here is where I found the battery charger. But I want to go a little bit past that because I want to be in a somewhat deeper water area for a very particular uh, for a very particular reason that's going to help me out later in the game. But I will not spoil it because obviously I'm letting you guys experience it for your first time and I'm not going to exp uh, spoil random things that I know. So, uh... Let's get quartz if I can find any. Or more quartz, I should say. Because I already found some. I need, I, I need a lot of quartz. Preferably a whole inventory full of quartz. Quartz right there. Some, a dead zone ish area. Reef back over there. This is metal salvage. I don't really need that at the moment. The bonefish wants to take a bite out of me, but I'm not going to let him. Uh, let's go back in our Seamoth. <clears throat> so we want to go over here. Into this biome. And the reason being... Is because this is a very nice biome to actually be in. Especially for building a base. You're just rude. You don't need to just attack my sea moth like that. Alright, uh, so let's scan the gel sack because gel sacks are very useful in many ways. And consume some water as well. So let's find a good spot to make a base. Let's do like, actually right here would work. Ooh, actually I can't make a base yet, I just realized. Cause I need to find the, I need to find a certain room that you can only find somewhere else. So I will retrieve that I guess later. But in the meantime, there's a moon pool fragment, which is extremely nice. Did not actually expect to find a moon pool and a prawn suit drill arm so quickly. That's kind of funny. It's just chilling inside. And I gave silver too. <laughs> Interesting. Moon pool fragment. Are we really going to complete a moon pool before we get uh, the room that I need? Okay, I guess we are. We have a moon pool now. That's nice. Time capsule. gonna give some useful equipment like a bunch of sulfur and a toy yo we got a toy <laughs> I'm so happy about that <laughs> we got a toy it's a little dragon plushie I think yeah oh there's I didn't even notice that there's a wreck like right there okay I need to get to my sea moth sea moth save me save me sea moth Okay, so we're going to go just a little bit down over here. And if you notice, there is a yellow marker on our meters. And basically, that is to say how far I can actually go down. Because I'm only allowed to go down 200 meters right now on the Seamoth. Because that's its depth limit. And any further than that, it will start crushing the Seamoth. I do not want my Seamoth to be dead. So I'm going to keep it above that 200 meters. And not move it down further. I need to find something. I need to find diamonds. That's the one thing I need to find because I need to make a laser cutter. Because if I make a laser cutter, that I can really go exploring through these right here. But in the meantime, I will go down here and snatch this. Ooh, a Cyclops module. Nice.
Okay. This is getting a lot of useful stuff. I already have that. A chair. Don't mind if I do. More gel sacks. Ooh, there's some ruby. Actually, I actually don't think I need it right now. I'm not gonna grab ruby. Just because I don't think I actually need ruby at the current moment. And it's just gonna take up inventory space. I can scan this actually, why not? Uh, anything else I can scan around here? The thermal plant. Okay, uh, let's go up to our sea moth, get some air, and then let's dive back down. And let's see if we can explore this. Um, let me get more All right, let's uh, let's ex see if we can explore this. So there's a vent right here that's opening. So let's go into it. Not get lost inside of the vent. Uh, so, currently, we need to have one place that we need to go into. Uh, that's offline, so we can't use that. Uh, that's also offline, according. Okay, so... For right now, it seems like we absolutely positively need a laser cutter. So, with that in mind... I'm going to look around here for potential deposits that give diamond. I don't know if there's diamond deposits around here, but it's worth at least checking. Because a chance at diamond is a chance at life. Probably shouldn't be roaming too far away from my sea moth though. Oh no. Oh no. I need to swim. I was not paying attention to battery life. That is bad. At least I'm not in a desperate situation for air. That's a good thing I decided to go back because otherwise I've been further away from my sea moth. Okay, we must retreat for now. I was going to make a base over here, but I don't have the required materials. Also, I have full inventory, so it's a good thing that I'm going back. Hello, Whiskers. I am doing well. How are you? I'm just uh, playing Subnautica again because I felt like playing this wonderful game. Alright, I'm going to get back to the life pod, make another locker for the time being, and then I'm going to wait for the thing I need. I actually just hit myself with my own sea moth. <laughs> yeah, this game is amazing. It's actually one of my favorites. Like, probably out of my top ten games, this is probably, like, pretty up there. Like probably like within the top 10 games actually so but yes it's always good to be breathing so throw all this stuff in there or most of it anyway uh let's go ahead and explore some life pods actually because i know that there is some pretty good stuff around them and i can't really do much else other than that because i want to do the story based instead of just go directly to where everything is because uh, obviously the general start of this game is you is mostly story based so we're gonna go with this for now 
Oh, I'm sorry that your Twitch died on you for some reason, but I'm, I'm glad it's back. I hope it wasn't just for everybody. Because if it was for everybody, then I would be sad that my Twitch stream went offline for a little while. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, power planks. I need to come to a complete stop before I <laughs> fully stop, because I keep hitting myself with my own seam hoss, and it's depressing. Okay, so let's do this. So yeah, basically, <laughs> what they just said was that, uh, this life pod exploded <laughs> because of somebody's stupid malfunctioning equipment. Also, I just realized that I actually didn't make a battery for my, uh, sea glide, so I am big brain. Time to go make that battery that I forgot to make. Actually, no. So I have to go to make the battery that you guys didn't remind me about. Shame on you, chat. How dare you forget to remind me to make a battery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, but, uh... <laughs> Alright, so let's go make that battery, and then we can actually go explore things easier. So, uh, I think the next one we're gonna go do is Life Pod 19, because why not? Uh, the more modifications and fragment we, we get, the, uh, the better. Bungalungadongus. <laughs> Gosh. Human got that so badly stuck in my head. <laughs> Just the... The... Uh, the Team Fortress 2 meme. I, I forgot what it was even called, but... It, it, he got that so stuck in my head. Bungalungadongus. Huge honkaroos. Alright, um... Yeah, you guys did. Uh, so I actually put away my materials for a battery. I think I need one copper. One copper and then acid mushrooms. I pull out my sea moth with no effect because I'm stupid and I forgot that it's out of power. <laughs> okay. Let's make two batteries just in case. Because I use sea moth quite a lot. Can I? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, two batteries. Hopefully we get a uh, battery charger soon as well. And I do... Oh, I need two diamond? Yikes. Big yikes. Okay, let's toss this empty battery in there. Okay, so I need to... So I'm going to the life pod 19, and I just need to hope and pray that I come across some, uh, diamond. There's life pod 19. There it is. There's life pod 19. So that's 300 meters down, but I'm pretty sure I'll actually still be able to get in there. Or to get to the location, because the sea glide is amazing. So is Rebreather. 
and then hopefully we'll find something good. Because I don't remember what all the life pods give. I used to remember, like, to the teeth, exactly what each and every single life pod would give. Because I don't think it was randomized. Uh, and I would just literally know exactly what each life pod gives, which life pods are useless, that kind of stuff. But now I just completely forgot because I haven't played this game in years. So, it's nice to come back to it and just kind of have, like, if you will, a blind playthrough for the most part. Or just have, like, a playthrough where you just don't know exactly where things are. Is that an outcrop that I need? I need to scan this to confirm which items it gives. It gives... Okay, so it is a good diamond source. It gave gold. I'm sad. Any more around here? Come on, there has to be at least one more. I need diamond terribly. This cave will give me diamond, right? This cave will have absolutely no resources. Fantastic. Okay. What about this cave? Uh, this cave will give absolutely no resources, except for this one. It gave diamond. I like how it says that you are required. <laughs> okay. You are required to pay this bill back. But yeah. Uh, anyway. So we got the two diamonds. So that's a really nice. So now we can actually make the laser cutter. And we can go back to the uh, that shipwreck that I found earlier. And we can open it up. And also since we have the laser cutter fragments. As well as the laser cutter B. We can make it soon. I could also make a radiation shoot, suit. And go to the Aurora. I'm also going to check this place out, because I know this should give some pretty good items as well. Oh, that's just rude. <laughs> it jabated me. Uh, it makes me, it forces me to have a laser cutter. Okay, so we're going to have to come back here. So in that case, I'm going to just beacon it. Where's my beacon? There it is. I was about to say, did I just, did I throw away my beacon? Okay. So, Beacon is now here. I'm not going to name it or anything. I'm just going to leave it there. What? Moonpool. Okay, that. I was like, what? Where? <laughs> okay. But, yeah, we found that. Down here is also a pretty nice cave as well. That's one thing I do remember. Is that that was an extremely nice cave to loot. Don't think there's anything else I can loot around here, considering that everything's kind of more or less blocked off. I think. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is a this is a different arm fragment, torpedo arm. Nice. Uh, any other torpedo arm fragments? Is that a nuclear reactor? I already have that. I can just tell by the fast, like, of uh, the speed of the scan, if I have it or not. Okay, so we'll definitely come back here, but let's go to the knife pod 19, because I'm getting severely sidetracked. Uh, where was 19? Down here. Oh, yeah, it's in the abyss. I forgot. Okay. So let's get as close as possible, like... That's a safe distance for the sea moth. So that way it won't get pushed down into a bad area. And then let us go down here. I also don't need ruby at the current moment, but this is a really nice spot for ruby, diamond, etc. Contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. 
<laughs> I actually didn't realize that. I'm attempting a controlled descent, dies. <laughs> Ooh. Power cell charger. Yes. I'm gonna get greedy and die. Just watch. I'm actually gonna save. <laughs> Cause I just realized I haven't saved in a while and if I would've died I would've cried. Okay, so thermal vent. Anything else over here? Uh, there's time a capsule. It gave me a thermal blade? Two thermal blades? That's so cool. I'm pretty sure, okay, I, I could be wrong, but I swear time capsules are actually from like other people's games, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong once again, but I if I remember correctly, I think the developers made it so that at the end of the game, you will give a time capsule and then people can put stuff in it and then you can collect it in your game. So this is really nice. The Cyclops module, it gave, gave me two repair coals, which kind of sucks. It, it gave, also gave me a second habitat builder, which kind of sucks. But uh, it's it's alright, because duplicates are perfectly fine with me, because it just gives me extra batteries. So now I theoretically just have more batteries. <laughs> Is this diamond? No, it's just quartz, okay. I did want to come back down here, because I wanted to grab this PDA, and I didn't want to go searching for it, so... Uh, I'll crew members, if you are reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pods on board computer. Contrary to my orders, I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to dis uh, disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated coordinates. Okay, yeah. Interesting. So that's Keen's log. Uh, and then I don't think there's anything else around here for the current moment that I need to grab. Unless if there's more of those deposits that give me diamonds, which I don't see any. I don't, yeah, I don't see any. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my sea moth. Oh, wait, there's one. It gave me gold. I'm going to go cry in a hole now. I need to find diamond, because I'm pretty sure Propulsion Can uses it, right? Oh, no. Propulsion Can does it. Okay, we're good. We can just go then. Let's go back to Life Pod. Okay, that's the rally point. I don't want to go to the rally point just yet. I want to go over here and uh, get Laser Cutter, explore the other Life Pods, and then I'll go to that point. I'm surprised I haven't ran into extremely hostile enemies besides the bone shark. The bone shark is like the only super aggressive enemy that I've ran into so far, and it kind of makes me happy. <laughs> I don't want to be dealing with super aggressive enemies at the start, and I'm really glad that I've been avoiding them so well. Though, although, it, I will say, me avoiding them is also really bad for content because everyone likes to see a Twitch stream or die to a random creature of death. So, pros and cons. I'm gonna see if I can find some salts around too. Cause I wanna make a cured peeper or something. Okay, no salt around. I'll just have to deal with it. I mean, I always could just Perfect. <laughs> okay, uh, bladderfish. Need more water. Is there a better source of water? I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah. I need bleach. I need bleach. That's actually not 
hard to make it all. Okay. I should probably start making the better water, but for now I'll just steal bladderfish from their natural environment and use them as my own source of water. Okay, let's listen to this. So let me just say, this guy was being a massive, condescending asshole, <laughs> and then he's just like, oh, you guys are actually having, like, bad problems and stuff, I should help you, but now I'm gonna apologize because I realized that I was in the wrong, it's just like, yeah, you better apologize. <laughs> yeah, I just find it funny. Alright, uh, I need to make one more battery. So let's do that. And then I also need one more thing, I think, right? I need cave sulfur. So let me go find one of those suicide bombers again. I got stuck on an elk crop. Oh, you don't even have any. That's rude. You're just gonna blow up in my face and not give me anything? Okay. I just have to explore over here, I guess, and just hope and pray that I find another one. Because they only spawn in caves, so I have to find a cave. <laughs> okay. Uh, cave sulfur. That's beacon fragment. Don't need it. I need caves. Where's a cave at? You don't have any either? Depressing. Very depressing. And here looks untouched though. But there's no explodey dude, so... I gotta be extra sad. Is there really none? I just need one more, that's it. One more cave sofa. Please. Just one more. It's all I'm asking. I think I've already been in this one before. Sea glide. Okay, I think it's a little deep for the things I'm looking for. Oh, vehicle bay. Why am I this far? I actually didn't know that was like, well, yeah. Okay. Interesting. But I still need to find the things I'm looking for, aka the explosion suicide fish. And I'm not having good luck with it. Might risk it. I don't actually know how far down this will burn me for, but I just do need to kind of check this general area. Okay. Did I have a med kit on me? I did not. Okay. That's fine. I'll see you later. Okay, so I need to go this way. A little ways anyway, just to try to find the stupid explosion fish. Because that's the only 
uh, source of cave sulfur. You can't get anywhere else. So if I can't find any, then I'm screwed. In here, maybe? Nope. Bone cave sulfur. The one thing I need. There's one up there. Oh, this is a prime spot for one of these guys. There it is. You can gladly damage me because I have cave sulfur now. Okay, let us go back to the base. Or our life pod. And let us make a laser cutter. And then that way we can go over to that beacon after we explore uh, the life pod 13. And then on the way to our beacon, we could also go to the dry land. Fabricator. Alright, and we need this, so I need to make a battery. There we go. And now we have a laser cutter. Okay, so let's uh, reassign some things. So we'll put this in two, this in five. Uh, we will throw a few items in here that we don't need, like. This repair tool we can go away. This habitat builder can go away. This thermal blade can go away. That can be stored for now. That can be stored for now. Gel sacks. Propulsion cannon can stay with me for right now. Alright, so now we are going to explore life pod 19 next time because uh i ran out of street uh time for my stream today so next time that we play subnautica we will be going to life pod 19 uh just over there then we'll be exploring that shipwreck beacon and then we are going to go to the dry land and possibly even the aurora if we have time so if you guys are want to see that uh i don't actually have a set day for subnautica but i will work it out so if you guys do want to see more of this then please go down below into the schedule and uh you can just view when i'm streaming what games i'm doing as well as give me a follow and hit the bell so you can be notified on when i am 